Nine University of Canberra research students have battled it out in the three-minute thesis competition finals. Uh, it's an important event for our research students. It's a competition where students are judged on their ability to present the thesis topic in three minutes. It's about the art of oration above all else good communication skills and presenting their topic in a way that is accessible to a lay audience. The finalists had a range of specialist areas from lizards to HR practices. We had a very good represent representation from across the university um, and uh, it shows the great support that students have within faculties and um, you, in the finals today I think quite a few faculties were, were, were represented. Wendy Dimond was awarded first place and the People's Choice Award for her presentation on grassland earless dragons in the ACT. Um, I study grassland earless dragons here in the ACT. Uh, there are lizard species which is highly endangered and were actually thought to be extinct for 30 years in the ACT. My work's been looking at how they're doing in the grasslands, if they're doing okay. Once we discovered that they were declining, um, I needed to try and work out what's causing the decline, what's driving the populations down. Veronica Vishna and Yari Yahuri Prasetya tied for second place. The first prize is a $2,000 cash prize, but that must be used towards research, so it could be for conference, travel, field work, whatever. Second prize, which will be split between the two people who came second, uh, is $1,000, same thing for research, and $500 for the People's Choice Award. And the hardest part of the competition? Nerves. <laughs> it's incredibly nerve-wracking because you know you're being judged, but um, probably the best things about it have been meeting the other contestants. Um, this university does a wide range of stuff and working in your own faculty you often don't get to meet these other people and so it's been a great chance to make new friends and find out what's going on here. Sandy Rose, University of Canberra.